Hello everyone and welcome to a very simple sound effects tutorial. If you have seen Paranormal Activity, then you might be familiar with the following sound. The sound design behind this is incredibly powerful, yet it's also very simple. So simple that everyone with Audacity can do it. Let me show you how. To start off, we're going to create some noise. To do that, we go to Generate Noise and we make sure that we select Brownian Noise. Now, very important here is to make sure we only create one second of it. And the reason for that will become clear very shortly. For now, we just click OK. Let's have a listen to it. For this tutorial, we're not going to look at the actual waveform displayed here. What we are going to do is we're going to look at the frequency spectrum. To do that, we go to the arrow here and we click on spectrogram. To see it more clearly, we just drag this down a bit. And now we can see all the frequencies contained within the sound. Because this is noise, it contains all kinds of frequencies. The first effect that we're going to apply is change speed. First, we just select everything by double clicking. And then we go to Effect, Change Speed. Because I've made the sound effect before, I know what to fill in. And in this case, we're going to fill in 0 0.065 and click OK. Now, the reason why we created a very short section of noise is because we are changing the speed. And if you were to create a very long section of noise, it's going to take a lot longer for Audacity to process that effect. However, that shouldn't stop you from creating a longer version of that effect yourself. Just be patient while Audacity is performing in the calculations. The next thing that we're going to do after selecting everything is we go to Effect and we go to Filter Curve. If you've never used Audacity before, then Linear Frequency Scale may still be enabled. For this tutorial, I'm going to turn it off because it's much easier to work with. Also, the decibel scale might be different. And for this tutorial, I'm going to turn it down all the way. This allows us to see the entire frequency spectrum from loud to soft. Now we're going to draw some points on the frequency curve. And we're going to start with a point here. And we're going to drag it down just about to minus six. The next point we're going to drag is at 100 Hz. And we're going to drag that point up to about 28 decibels. Then the next point we're going to drag is about 300 Hz, right here. And we're going to drag that to about minus 36 decibels. So that's right here. And then we click OK. So this has now modified the frequencies that were already present. We sort of cut off the higher ones. It's almost similar to what we would call a low pass filter. Now let's have a listen to this. Very slowly, we're starting to get closer to the actual sound effect that we want to achieve. The final step to complete this effect is that we're going to tweak it just a little bit. Since I have a reference to the actually used sound effect, I know that the current sound effect that we have is currently a bit too high in pitch. To fix this, I'm going to actually slow down what we have now by just a tiny amount. So again, we select everything, we go to Effect, Change Speed, and here we now fill in 0 0.9. And we click OK. And there you go. The only thing we need to do now is normalize it. So again, we select everything, we go to Effect, and we select Normalize. OK. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and save it. File, Export, Render as Wave. And here we insert Paranormal Activity Sound. And we click Save. That's your sound effect. If you enjoy content like this, then please leave a like, a comment, and feel free to subscribe.